Happy Friday. Cheers to the weekend. The foliage outside is giving. It's officially the peak of fall. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a little weekend in my life. So yeah, I had a slow morning, which I usually don't have on Fridays, but it was really nice. I woke up a little bit early and just had some tea, logged onto my work laptop, got things situated, planned out my to-do list for the day. And now I'm gonna go on a little run in my apartment. And then after that, I have a bar class. I haven't ran in like two weeks. The last time I ran was when I was in DC, just because, well, I was sick earlier this week and then I just totally didn't make time to run the week before so we're running for the first time in forever also it's really hitting me that I haven't had any coffee yet today I'm feeling tired I'm normally not with this long without coffee but yeah I'm excited to go on a little run let's do it Ooh, I finished my run I just did a mile it was so good I feel amazing I can't believe I never took off my sweatshirt I'm regretting it We back from bar. It was such a good class. Just downed this protein shake and let's hop in the shower. I am like a ghost right now. <laughs> Done with my shower. My hair looks awful. I think it might be due for like a touch up or something, but I'm just trying to make it presentable for this work from home call before I like straighten it. I don't even know you guys. I'm gonna go get a matcha because we need caffeine. And then I have a few calls today. It's a pretty busy work day. So we're gonna grind through. All right guys, I'm hopping on to my first call of the day. I'm so tired. <laughs> I need more matcha. All right, my call is over. I have like 15 minutes till my next one. And then Loki, like the day is over. Like not actually, but there's not much left today. <laughs> anyway, I have this leftover ramen. I'm gonna heat up and eat some of it for lunch. I have an early dinner tonight. I'm meeting my friend Amira at Pizzeria Portofino. I've never been, but it has always looked so good. It's like on the river. We're having this leftover ramen. Me and Vicente went to Oyster last night. If you saw in my work week in my live vlog. Leftover ramen, like it never really works, but it's better than just like wasting food, you know? Cause I never can finish the full ramen bowl. It's always so much, but it's, it's so hard to have leftover. Cause it's just it's soggy. You can never take all the broth back. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's difficult, but let's heat this up. All right, we got my Robin. I'm so cold. I really need to get some energy for this weekend. We have a lot of plans. Also, I don't think I ever introduced myself, but I'm Lucia. I'm 24. I live in Chicago. I work at 9 to 5 in advertising. I'm starting this vlog on a Friday, obviously, but it's a weekend in my life. And we have like, yeah, a lot of things lined up. I have this flower arranging class tomorrow with some friends. And then I'm going to some like house concert tomorrow night and then probably going out, but not drinking because I just, my body can't handle that after being sick. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. And then Sunday I have a ballet class and a facial. So it's going to be a fun weekend. I just need to get more energy. <laughs> finished my calls i've been laying on the ground for like <laughs> five minutes just procrastinating having to get up and go get my eyebrows done we're getting my eyebrows threaded i decided even though i could do waxing because i'm off accutane now i've decided to just keep with threading even though i hate it because it's better for my skin i am gonna go on retinol eventually so and you can't wax on retinol so anyway catch up with you guys after with my new brows i feel like they're really grown out so i'm so excited to get them done see you guys later the eyebrows are done all fixed it actually is so nice outside i really enjoy just like being outside and it's already 3 30 just like that yeah i really don't have 
too much stuff to do for the rest of the work day. Just gonna check through a few things and then shower and start getting ready for the night because I have a really early dinner. I'm ready for the night. This is the fit. The sweater is Princess Polly. I keep on wearing this Abercrombie skirt. I'm like obsessed with it. Polka dot tights from Express. The socks are Steve Madden and then these are new shoes from Steve Madden too. My first time wearing them. I love them. Yeah, let's go to Pizzeria Portofino with Amira. I'm excited. <laughs> back from dinner it was so much fun always a good time catching up with a friend i haven't seen in a while because she actually moved out of chicago in like april or may or something and then just moved back this past month so it was fun to catch up i'm gonna call my mom because i've been texting her like oh yeah i can call you in like 20 minutes i'm just not good at like gauging time and i think she needs me to call her before she goes to sleep and i think she's about to go to bed but yeah it was such a good dinner i loved the pizza we got gluten-free cauliflower crust margarita pizza so good i'm about to have our leftovers and then we both got salads which was such the move it was such a girl dinner combo to have the salads i got a caesar and then the pizza it's like salad and fries and then she she got a Diet Coke, so it was complete. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. And her and her fiance gave me a ride back, which is so nice. Didn't have to go on the L. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom and then call my mom. Good morning, guys. Cheers. I've been waking up ever since I was sick with like a little tickle in my throat. So I've started to make some chamomile tea in the morning, even though I usually make it at night. And happy Saturday! Oh my god! I'm so excited. It's Saturday. This is like the most plans I feel like I've had on a Saturday in a minute. I have this flower making class at my friend's apartment, but I'm excited. And it's bottomless mimosas, but I'm not gonna drink. I'm gonna pick up like a coffee and a crepe from brew, I think, on the way to have as like my brunch situation. I laid in bed for like an hour when I woke up this morning just scrolling, so that's fun. Yeah, the apartment got a little bit messy yesterday, so I'm gonna just clean it up today and then take a shower and then get ready for the day. All right guys, I'm about to head out to go to my little event. I'm gonna be a little late, but I feel like that's probably good actually. I don't know, I feel like I always get places right on time and it's like, no one's there yet. But this is my fit. I'm hoping it's warm, even though it's like insanely cropped, but I got these low rise jeans from Abercrombie. It's my first time wearing them and I love them so much. And then my classic turtleneck, you guys. I can style this so many different ways it's so much fun i've been having so much fun with fall fashion because i feel like there's just so many more ways that you can style clothes and then this fun green scarf to make up for the fact that my outfit is not very warm and then my north face puffer yay i love casual like saturday daytime fits oh and of course the chunky uggs <laughs> Town, picked up my brew. I feel like a woman in a movie that's like holding way too much stuff and is like about to fall over at any point. I'm honestly not over how beautiful it is outside today. I thought it was gonna be freezing because I'm such like a, an anti fall person, but it is so beautiful. literally so much fun shout out to the girls club i'll catch up with you guys about it when i get home because it's so loud on the street i'm back from the flower arranging class i've actually been back for a couple hours 
I went outside and took some pictures with my tripod. Yeah, I've just been like scrolling on TikTok and then my phone died and I was like, oh shit, I should probably stop scrolling on TikTok. I have like so much editing I need to get done before I leave for Italy in less than seven days, which is insane. I know I keep on talking about that, but I'm just, I'm so stressed. I'm not doing anything about it. Like I just keep procrastinating packing, editing, everything <laughs> and just scrolling. I have these cookies that my friend Gian brought for me to have like a gluten-free option at the brunch like flower arranging class. So I'm excited to unbox these. So nice of her. Ooh, these look good. Ooh, these are like vanilla Oreos. Oh my God. Okay, I have to try both of these. I'm really excited. The flower arranging class was so much fun. Okay, this is the bouquet I made. I need to put it in water, I keep forgetting. I did a really bad job like folding the paper around it, but they're so cute. I got like a pop of orange and then this kind of like yellowish E color and then a white and then just like the little filler stuff and it's so gorgeous i've never made my own bouquet before so it was really fun they had this girl there that was like teaching us how to do it and yeah it was such a fun event it's with the um so my friend Gian has this like group organization called the girls club and it is so much fun they basically put together like all these events for entrepreneurial women and they're just always so much fun so if you're in chicago you should Check them out. Ooh, okay. What brand is this? Goody Girl. Mmm. This is good. The craziest thing happened to me at this event. I ran into this girl that was in my sorority in college that I hadn't seen since 2019. She was like a friend of a friend of someone's. And I'm just like, what the heck? The world is so small. It was crazy to see her there. But it was really fun because now we've like reconnected and we're gonna get lunch. All right, this is a different brand. This is Partake. So let's try this one. I was obsessed with this one. A little too good. This one is yummy too. All right, so I'm gonna try to be a little productive for like a couple hours, maybe like an hour and a half. It's 4.50 already. And I have that little house concert I'm going to at 6.30. It's basically like there's a singer songwriter that my friend is friends with and she hosts this like show at her apartment building and basically like gets other singer songwriters to come and they, and they do like a set together. So it seems fun. I'm about to leave for the little at house singer songwriter concert thing. And then we might go out afterwards. We'll see if I'm feeling it. I wasn't feeling it cause I'm like, I want to do editing. Then I was like getting ready and I was playing this hype music. I was playing doses and mimosas and I was like, this feels like college. Like I have to go dancing. So we'll see. But I did a really like lazy girl outfit change because I didn't want to actually change. So I'm wearing the same pants and top, but I made it a little more elevated for nighttime or more of like a nighttime going out vibe. So I put on this cropped leather blazer. This is just gonna be my go-to like all fall and winter for going out to the bars because it just, it immediately makes you look like you're going out. And then I traded in my platform Uggs for these platform black boots from Steve Madden. They're like insanely high. I love them because I hate being short. Well, I love being short, but I don't like being short when I'm like going out because then I just feel so small. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be fun. I'm meeting my friend's boyfriend and her friend. So yeah, should be a good time. I've never been to something like this, so I'm excited. back. I've actually been here way too long just procrastinating doing my skincare because I, I love doing my skincare but like late at night when I'm tired it's the last thing I want to do even though it's the most important thing I need to do. I can't believe I've had this makeup on my face for like over 12 hours. That's insane. I'm not wearing makeup tomorrow and I'm getting a facial which will be amazing. But it was such a fun night. I'll start from the beginning. So first we went to the singer songwriter thing, the yellow listening room, and it was so much fun. Also, by the way, I've kept on running into so many more Northwestern people tonight. I ran into three more. So I ran into a total of four people I knew from school. But one person I didn't know from school, but he happened to go to the same school, but he's just friends with my boyfriend. Um, but I didn't meet him till after school. But anyway, that's besides the point. I ran into four different people today that I knew that I wasn't expecting to see. That's just crazy. Normally I don't even run into that many people, much less from like the same thing, like all from school, but like different parts of school. It's just so funny. But yeah, the singer songwriter thing was really cool. It's just so awesome to see just like people writing music in such like a raw way. Cause it was like an acoustic set. And I'm used to stuff that's like super produced, obviously, just like what's like, you know, popular on like Spotify and stuff. And it was just cool to see like local artists doing their thing, just like writing songs this week and then performing them. One of the girls was like 
basically I wrote this song two days ago <laughs> and they were so good I'm so in awe of like how people can write songs because that's just like not my forte I feel like I could maybe write like the lyrics but I could never do the actual like accompaniment or like music part I just like I wouldn't even know where to start with that so yeah it was so cool to see and then we ended up going to Lottie's afterwards which is the best bar i think it's in it's technically in bucktown i think it's so much fun it's kind of a millennial bar so they play like throwbacks i feel young when i go there which is nice i'm like the gen z representation yeah it was just it was such fun music my friend was funny she's like like a year younger than me but she didn't know like all of the like millennial songs and i thought it was so funny we had a really good time just like dancing it's just good vibes over there that's where i ran into two more people and then after that we like walked to this pub and i was there for like five minutes and then i called my uber because i was getting tired and i have an early morning ballet class but i'm definitely not gonna get full sleep because like i feel like when i get back from a night out like i can't just like get ready for bed and go to bed unless i'm like you know belligerent but that never happens i did drink though i had a hard kombucha which i just i haven't drank in so long or no i drink like this month at present day sister's wedding but like i don't drink a lot so it's a moment but yeah it was so fun i can't believe it's 1 30. i've really just been procrastinating doing my skincare and i should have just done it as soon as i got home it was such a fun filled saturday i will see you guys super early for ballet <laughs> it's it's 3 p.m but i am going to go get my facial i slept in my ballet class <laughs> if you're wondering it's really unfortunate i was really looking forward to it but i think it's just one of those things that is a little ambitious to schedule it at 9 a.m on a sunday morning after a night going out so next time i'll schedule it for a different time sucks though especially since i couldn't cancel it so i still got charged the 20 dollars. but that's okay i got a coffee i've just been cleaning up the apartment today and editing a youtube video it's been really chill but i've been super productive in terms of like cleaning up which is nice but i'm excited to get my facial so i'm going to clean your dirty face so we're gonna walk there with my coffee and it's just it's such a chill sunday i'm loving these vibes and it's so nice outside right now it's like 56 i'm debating whether i should bring my cover or not i probably will i don't know but anyway let's go facial that was so good i love it so much i'm still not allowed to exfoliate my face yet since like from being on accutane but hopefully i will be able to soon and yeah my face just feels so much better so hydrated i'm already really hungry for dinner even though it's 4 p.m so i think i'm gonna run by sweet green and get a salad or at the harvest bowl i always get the harvest bowl <laughs> That was such a good facial. I have to go back to the same facialist again. She was just so good. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so starving, especially after my walk. I always get the harvest bowl and they already tossed it. So I don't have to worry about shaking it or anything. She has beauty, she has grace. I think I'm gonna put on the D'Amelio show. My guilty pleasure, I love it. Cause I can't watch The Golden Bachelor without Vicente cause we were watching it together. But I think there's an episode, there's a new episode that I really wanna see. But I'm being a good girlfriend. I'm waiting for him. But yeah, let's feast.
All right, you guys, it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I just finished editing my YouTube video that I post on Sundays, which <laughs> is late. I just, I'm a little overwhelmed. I have so much going on this week to prep for Sicily, but it's gonna be fun. Subscribe so you don't miss the Sicily vlog. I'm just excited to share that experience with you guys. Reminder, I post every Sunday and Wednesday. I try to get them up earlier in the day, but sometimes it's late like today. I'm like loving my facial. I feel like my skin just feels amazing. I don't wanna like do my normal skincare tonight because I want this to like stay soaking in my skin. I don't know. I never know like if the facials at like 4 p.m. Do I still do my skincare tonight? I feel like yeah, because I was outside. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Yeah, upcoming on my channel and just like in my life if you guys are interested. So tomorrow I'm gonna film a work from home day in my life. And then the next day I'm gonna film an office day in my life. So those are gonna be the next couple videos on my channel. I also have a Q&A that's gonna be coming up soon of the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. And then after that, we're gonna get into my Italy content. So I'm gonna do like a packing video because I'm packing with one carry-on and it's gonna be crazy. And then my Italy vlog. And then as soon as I get back from Italy, I'm going on a brand trip my very first brand trip. I'm so excited. So I'll also be vlogging that. So that's kind of a lineup of everything to come if you guys are interested. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my channel. It literally means so much and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.